Hi, it's Miss Heather from the Concord Community Music School. I'm out, my sunflowers bloomed, and I figured I would give you a chance to see them. These are my favorite flower, by the way. We're gonna read a story of the bear went over the mountain, and the story talks about our senses. And our senses are five senses. First, we use our eyes to, what do we use our eyes to? To see, do you see the, that the sunflowers have different colors? Then we use our ears. Do you hear that bird that's chirping? Oh, it stopped chirping just as I said so. Oh, did you hear that? What do you smell? You use your nose to smell, right? Maybe the sunflowers smell good, yeah? And what do you use your mouth for? Yes, to taste or to eat. How about our hands? use our hands to feel. We feel things. This is soft. Maybe the petals are, some, are smooth, right? Maybe things are rough. The bear went over the mountain as told and illustrated by Isa Trapani. Now the bear's going to get in a little bit of trouble each time, but don't you worry. The bear is okay in the end, okay? No worries. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. He saw a dragonfly, a bluebird flitting by, three fuzzy rabbits skipping, five happy ducklings dipping, and Mama Duck came nipping. And chased him up a tree. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to hear what he could hear. He heard a cricket chirp, a woodchuck, a woodchuck sip and slurp. The hum of froggies peeping, the burst of birdies cheeping. A swish of something creeping and hissing in his ear. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to smell what he could smell. He smelled the spicy pine, sweet honeysuckle vines, the minty grasses swaying, moldy leaves decaying. Ew! A skunk beside him spraying. It's time to say farewell. Stinky. <laughs> The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to touch what he could touch. He touched a soggy log, a wet and warty frog, a minnow slick and shiny, a blossom soft and tiny. Ow! A porcupine all spiny. He did not like it much. He's got to go get those out. Don't worry, he's getting them out. See, they're all out of his hands. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. Bear went over the mountain to taste what he could taste. <clears throat> he tasted tangy shrubs, delicious juicy grubs, a beech nut tough and chewy, Berries tart and dewy, and honey soft and gooey, sweet and gooey, but then away he raced. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to go back home again. Back down the other side, he plodded satisfied, his spirits were just soaring from all of his exploring. But now the bear is snoring. <sniffs> snuggly in his den. And there's the music. 
Do you still hear that bird? What do you hear at your house? What do you see? Do you have any taste in your mouth still from maybe breakfast or lunch or dinner or snack? You hear, what are we smelling? What do you feel? I feel grateful in my heart that I get to sing and read to you. I hope that you've enjoyed my outside story time. And I hope that these sunflowers maybe brought you a smile today because they bring me smiles all the time as Heather loves her sunflowers. Check out the video that I have of the sunflower and the bumblebee. It's not bringing home my baby bumblebee, it's a new one. See if you can find it.